welcome to the video, and today we're going to do a thing called, we call the Donk. Now, it's a nice little video. We've done one where Chris grabs the wrist, and we've done the turnover, we've done the come through. If he grabs the cane, we've done the sticky cane part. Here, I've come in for a strike, and Chris has grabbed my wrist. Now, we're about equal distance. Bend your arm just a little bit, just to bring that through to the camera. You see it, all right? We're about equal distance, so it is a tug of war. All I'm going to do is this motion. And we do do warm-up exercises on our wrist, so you should be able to get some power with this. And it's just a quick donk. Now, that was supposed to hit the peak of the cap, but Chris, for some reason, has got my hand higher than I... You should have, so see, that's the tip. I've actually hit his head, and he's now looking at me, and I'm fearing for my life. <laughs> he's a lot stronger than I am, and he's got a better position, he's got the height. But all it is, from where he grabs, we just dog through. If my cane's in a different position, Chris <laughs> will When we rehearse this, Chris stood a lot closer, but he now knows that, A, I don't have my glasses on, B, I'm on some heavy medication, so he knows that my accuracy's a little bit off today. It's just this motion here, and that would obviously be the groin area. Hence the distance and the angle on the... I've had an idea. You, he's had an idea. They're the worst words that I like to hear. Use your other hand to pull. Yeah. Chris has just said about using the other hand to pull. Which, yeah, you can. You can from here, and you can... <laughs> he's, really, he's really worried about it. You can pull and slide down, or you can pull and jab. It's just this motion, or this motion, or that motion. There's a lot you can do, and it's just giving them a quick donk. It's not a knockout, it's not an ender, it's a softener. Okay, when I do this, apart from being considerate to my opponents, I actually have a bigger stick. I'm not compensating. So, as this is coming through, he's grabbed the wrist. So I've got a lot more range of motion, and the ceiling. So, we always talk about environmental awareness. So if I think I've got a nice finisher here and hit the ceiling, his reaction will be first to laugh and this hand's gonna punch me in the face as I'm going, oh dear. So be aware, so lots of look. Now, because he's got a good extended arm, I can barely reach him. So he's not gonna be concerned. I know this, I've tried to hit him, he stopped it, he's stronger, I can't fall. We all know he's a strong man. That's not going to reach unless I step back and then my weight of my body brings that down to pull it onto it. So from there, it's not, I can, I might get, so this is moving the body, moving it that way. So going off his centre line works a treat as well. I can use both hands, so I'm going to loosen this grip and just pull. I can play the trombone, as Callum likes to say. It works just the same, but the advantage of this for me is I can get out of the way of that weapon that's coming in as I'm stepping back, I'm pulling this into a fighting position, but I get the added advantage of striking my opponent, ideally here. Yeah. Also, if you're going to do that again, even if I was like that and you pulled down, my guard's going down as well. Yeah. At the same point. We've done a few videos on fight from different heights, going up, going down, change the position. This was easy for Kev because he's lower than me. In a lot of respects, he's lower than me. But he's sitting lower than me. We're about the same height, so difference. If Callum was shorter than me, which is most people aren't, trust me, it would be harder for me to do. If they're taller than me, I got more of a, a target area to hit because of the range and the height difference. So practice, sit in the chair and do it. So that's one of the reasons we say, start from your knees or on your back, work your way up. From a chair, standing, flight of stairs if you can, stand on a chair and get your opponent to do the same. So you get the idea of these different angles, how it changes your technique. If you can, still Kev's chair and try it from there. And then you get another perspective as well. Right, you know what to do by now. Do the what's it down now. Yeah, smash that, hit that, free that. 